Hey, what's going on guys? Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are all doing well. So we have a new release of Gold 10 to cover here in this video, version 2.4 B18.2 by Sistro. Sistro dropping us a little Christmas gift. There's lots of other developers who are releasing some new stuff over Christmas time as well. There's already been a bunch of new releases. I'll probably have a news update for you sometime tomorrow, going over all of the new stuff that has come out over the past few days. But of course, we normally do dedicated videos for Gold 10, so let's go ahead and dive into it. So in this version, we've got a new PPPoE patch to avoid multiple exploitations, and that is for the PPPone exploit. So if you are not using the PPPone exploit, this feature doesn't really apply to you. And then on top of that, we also have package scanning improvements. You can go ahead and download this from Sistro's Kofi page. You can enter a donation if you want to help support Sistro. I would encourage you guys to do that if you want to support his work and see new versions of Gold 10 continue to come out. But of course, if you just want the download, you can enter zero here and get now and it will give you the download. So of course, if you're using the PPPone exploit, you're going to want to download this, extract the gold10.bin file over to your desktop. You don't need the stage two if you were using the previous version because there's not been any change as far as I can see to the stage two loader for the exploit compared to version 2.4 B18's release. So all you got to do is copy the gold10.bin file to the root of a USB drive, plug that USB drive into your PS4, set up the network connections to use PPPoE with all of the other settings on the default option, automatic DNS and do not use proxy. And then from there, we can get the exploit running. I'm running it on my Luckbox Pico device, and I'm just going to wait for this to successfully exploit. And once the exploit loads up, we'll get version 2.4 B18.2 loaded. And of course, it will also copy that payload over to the hard drive and replace the one on the hard drive so that you have it updated for future use. You will no longer need to use the USB drive to load that version. So there we go, that's how you get Gold 10 updated if you're using the PPPone exploit. If you're using one of the older browser-based exploits, then you'll have to wait for your exploit host to be updated, but also make sure that you clear your website data so that it can recache the latest version of the site with the updated payload available. So with that all set up and ready, we can go ahead and check out a couple of the new features here. So if we go into Gold 10, we go down to our settings, we now have this enable PPPoE patch, prevents the console from being exploited again via PPPone which could cause instability. I actually have had this happen randomly once with my Luckfox Pico. I was running the console for a while, for probably several hours, and then just randomly I noticed that it started trying to run the jailbreak again uh, while I already had Gold Hen running. Even though I hadn't done anything, I didn't even go into rest mode and recover from rest mode or anything. It just all of a sudden started trying to re-jailbreak the console. And obviously that's not good, because if something goes wrong during that process, it will most likely end up crashing the console and you might think that it's gold hen instability when in actual fact it is your you know pwn device your luckbox pico raspberry pi whatever it is you're using so enabling this will prevent that from happening so what we can do is actually try and test this directly here so uh, what i'll do is i'll unplug my luckbox pico plug it back into the console so it starts trying to jailbreak the console again and then we'll enable this patch to see if it prevents that obviously you should have this enabled to preemptively prevent it from running but you know we want to see this in action here so okay so i've unplugged and replugged in my luck fox pico here so hopefully it should start trying to re-jailbreak yep there we go 42 42 42 so it's trying to jailbreak and let's quickly go ahead and see what happens if we enable this patch this could actually cause a crash ourselves by doing this because really we should have this enabled before it tries to run the jailbreak again so let's see what happens here. So I've re-enabled the patch. Okay, there we go. Cannot connect to network. And nothing. It's not doing another attempt. So it looks like that has successfully blocked it. I can see the red light flashing on my Luckfox Pico indicating that it's trying to still run the jailbreak, but there's no IP being obtained now. Uh, let's also test internet connection and see what happens here yeah so interesting it's not even failing the ip address check but it's also not finding the ip address either so it looks like the connection is being successfully blocked here by gold 10 so that will just prevent your pwn device your luck fox pico or whatever device you're using from trying to run the jailbreak again for whatever reason while you're already running gold 10 it will just block that pppoe connection for you and that will stop any instability or random crashing that would be caused from that 
Although there are certain circumstances where you probably will not want to use this, like in the case of the Raspberry Pi method, where the Raspberry Pi is able to actually share its internet connection with the PS4 over PPPoE once it's successfully loaded the jailbreak. That way you don't have to change your network settings over to Wi-Fi on the PS4 to get an internet connection after running uh, the exploit and having to switch your network settings back and forth. That's not required with the Raspberry Pi, but if you have this feature enabled, it will likely block the internet sharing capability of the Raspberry Pi, which is one of the main features why you would use that method. So in those cases, you would probably not want to have this enabled, but for pretty much all the other devices, they do not share internet over PPPoE, in which case you can enable this to prevent it from accidentally running the jailbreak again when Gold 10 is already running. Okay, so to demonstrate the next feature here, we need to go into the debug settings package installer and enable the subdirectory scan. So this, of course, scans all of the folders on your USB drive, uh, looking for any package files that are in there. And one of the problems with this method is that if you have a lot of files on your USB, if you're using like an external hard drive and you have lots of folders in there that have lots of subdirectories, like in my example here, I actually have a couple of PS5 game dumps that are on my USB drive and they have lots of folders, lots of subdirectories, lots of files. So whenever I go to the package installer here with this USB drive connected, you will see that it gets stuck saying, please wait for a long time as it has to scan all of those folders looking for any package files that are in there. And that is one of the issues that has been addressed in this new version. This new version adds options to essentially ignore specific folders on your USB drive. So it will not scan those and it will load them faster. The way you do this, there's two methods. One is to rename any folders that you do not want scanned and just add a dot at the beginning of the folder name and then the package installer will ignore that folder. So that is the quickest way to do it, although in many cases you might not want to be renaming your folders. So the other option is to create a new file inside one of these folders in the root of that folder and call that file .ignore. So just .ignore. You can do this with a, a notepad in Windows. You just create a new notepad document in Windows and then you don't have to enter anything in it. You can just save it as a blank document using file type as all files. And then you can just call it dot ignore and save it into the folder that you do not want to be scanned. And that's all you got to do there. So I'm going to do that to these two folders. One of them I have renamed as just dot with the folder name. And then the other one I have put a dot ignore file inside instead of renaming the folder. And we will see what happens now when we plug this USB drive in and go back to the package installer. And as you can see, when we select it here, the package files appear instantly because those game dump folders were ignored. So that's the other new feature that's been added in this version of Gold Hen. So those are the two main features. You've got your disable PP Pwn when running Gold Hen to prevent, you know, subsequent exploits and which will cause instability and potential crashing. So that feature has been added in the settings menu. And then in the debug settings, you've got the new uh, ignore options for the subdirectory scans so that you don't end up having to wait a long time for it to scan all of the directories on your USB or external hard drive if you have lots of folders in there with many, many other subdirectories and files. Now there's already been a bunch of new things that have also been released by other developers in the scene. So expect another news update pretty soon covering all of the new releases. But anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.